community saying goodbye. The Southwestern High School football team took to the field last night, missing one of its own. Ben Beinacker was killed Sunday at his home. Police say his father shot his mother with a rifle, then shot Ben before turning the gun on himself. Ben was on the junior varsity team at Southwestern. His fellow players and friends paid tribute to him last night. This candlelight vigil was held after the game. It was the end to a night dedicated to Ben's memory. News 8's Pete Montine was there. Some level. The lights shine brightly on this field, but this night could have been a lot brighter. Ben's nature was a very positive young man, always laughing. He was a good time guy. The bleachers are filled with camouflage for Ben the Outdoorsman. Many are wearing the number 81 for Ben the Player. I didn't want to believe it. Nobody wanted to believe it. And right away, though, everyone came together. It hurts, but this is good. This is part of the healing process and a return to normalcy and a return to routine is, uh, is absolutely something that you need to do in this, this time. But this night is anything but routine. Walking in from behind the crowd are Ben's teammates. Ben Bonnaker touched the lives of many students and teammates during his years in our community. Some are taking it very hard. Some, uh, some are ready to move on, not forget, but remember fondly. And that, that's where we're at, and that's why we need to play tonight. On his behalf, would you all join us in a moment of silence and respect to a fallen Mustang? Thank you. This release is part of letting go of a friend while keeping him in their hearts. I know he's watching down on us. In Penn Township, York County, Pete Muntean, News 8. T-shirts were on sale to benefit Ben's funeral expenses. Southwestern did win the game last night.